How's it going everyone? Session here. Welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're back. Time for us to dwell in what in my opinion is literally one of the scariest dungeons that this game has ever had in the world uh, for this game series. So, Okay. Alrighty. What's up? Okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh no! Wait. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. I remember. My bad. I forgot. Oh my gosh! They come back? Oh shoot! I actually didn't even know that. Oh, okay. Did not actually prepare myself for that situation. Oh, do you hear the music though? Listen, man, the music in this game was so eerie scary. I, I <laughs> it stressed me out as a kid. I I will not deny that. You hear like that that part right there. Really? All right, let's try that again, but like with feeling this time. However, here's the thing: this song went from being like the scariest and like spooky ominous song to one of the best songs ever i almost fell dude okay okay we got a key uh-oh okay i already forgot about that thing too that's kind of nuts, actually. Oh, no. These things were a nightmare, man. They kind of sort of still are. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. And they're just gone. I have the chills when they made that... that, that Look at my, I mean, you can't really see my goosebumps, but I have goosebumps right now. The goosebumps are really bad, actually. Um. Oh, shoot. Man. Stinking skull. What is, uh-oh. Oh. oh. That's kind of hard. Okay. That was scary, actually. Also very, very close. Okay. Wait, no shot that it's like a key, right?
I... Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. It's fine. Like, I will take it. I'm just kind of shook at that. I almost... Mm, I, like, almost lost that. But that was crazy, actually. All right, you freaking bubble. Not this time, sir. Thing, it, whatever you want to be. I hear that, actually. Oh. I thought I heard that. All right. Win. Um, okay. So here's the here's the thing that always confused me as a kid, is that I always lost track of my placement because of... Um... Like, what to do, where to go, and that sort of thing. I can go left. There's a there's a key thing. I see that. Um, what if I do this? Like, I know what to do. The thing is, like, I don't know the order of what to do and where to go. So the order of how I operate in these dungeons are going to be different. I also will not remember exactly everything. This thing is gigantic as heck. Okay. Okay. Um. I think the water's there, yeah? Okay. Oh, if you want to know, if anything, man, this was the first experience where I was very unaware of how scary the Skulltillos actually were. Because when you try to get that one, I I could never actually hit that one from up there. Can I? No, you see, you can't. So my issue was like, I had to actually sneak past it, basically. Whoops. That works. I didn't know that I I didn't know if I could, so I literally would hook shot up here, and then when it turns purple, it actually scared me as a kid. I never I never thought that those things were actually an issue, with, uh, you know, because if I if I sing shot, I just shoot them down, you know. But for them to actually be an issue in this game was, man, I'm never fast enough. Stop moving. Thank you. Okay, I think this is the dungeon map actually. Hmm, okay. I thought this thing dropped me the key. Okay. 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 Um... Is this where the painting is? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 the switch is over here. Oh, yeah, and then there's also... And then... Okay, it's it's been a while. It has been a while for me. Yeah, switch will put down the um, the water flow. Yes. Okay. I don't think I can effectively get to that. Yeah. Oh shoot, this is awkward. I actually, it's funny because uh, I do actually understand that I can't get that gold scotilla. Like, I, I literally can't. I have never seen that in my entire life. Please, am I losing to a giant Deku Baba like that? That's crazy, actually. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think that I can, um, I can't, I definitely can't get that. Unle oh no wait I don't have the scarecrow song wait I haven't gone to the scarecrows oh that's right God. oh no wait can I actually do it oh wait I'm no no I can't hmm okay I don't I don't think I can actually. I thought that I could, but I can't. It's okay. It's genuinely been such a long time. I can't believe the Deku Baba gives me such an issue. It's really embarrassing actually. Okay. 
Yeah, because now we end up on the other side of the with the thing without the bow. And I have a third key. It's crazy that I have three keys right now. Okay. Um... No shot. Okay. Uh, I literally went that way. Okay, so I'm gonna go back this way. Yeah, because I can't go through the other side because it's blocked by the, uh... Right? Wait. I actually don't... I genuinely don't know. It's okay. Let's just continue forward. Um... I don't know, actually. Okay, I don't know. I, I... The compass is kind of a helpful item to have in this dungeon. Because of, again, like, I, I will very quickly lose my place. This dungeon gives me, like... Suffice it to say, like, not PTSD per se, but, you know... Dungeon was really nerve-wracking in a lot of ways. Okay. I hear the other one. Because this part right here, this part used to terrify me as a kid. You know why? Because the, the hallways. There's aerospace on the floor. Yeah, the fact that it was like narrow corridors, I didn't... Like, if something came around the corner, it would have... I would have suffered from it. <laughs> like, horrendously. Um, to be quite honest. See, like, this part too. Like, if I push this, bolt, uh, this, this block and then... If something appeared from that my left, I would have freaked out. I don't think that there's anything... Oh, actually... No, I do remember this now. Uh, I don't know what's up here, though. Actually, I don't think that there's anything up here. No, that's not true. Mm-hmm. I need that... Yeah, I need that, but that's not... Hmm. This should fall down, yeah? Oh no, it's gonna hit a wall. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm, like, full of it? Maybe I don't remember this dungeon as much as I think that I do. Oh no. Um. I'm gonna, I might not actually remember, dude. I know the parts that scarred me the most. This was not one of those parts. If you know the part, you know the part. Uh, but it's not this part. Yes, this is this is truth. Because yeah, I would have had to like go. I do remember this as well. I did have to actually like. I did the blue block, and then I saw the red block over here, and I pulled it, and I was confused, and then I ended up, like, having to, like, backtrack, basically. Uh, the backtracking was kind of a pain, but... First time for everything, you know? Not this time around, though. I actually didn't know that that was the correct order either way, though, so... We are in business as a result. There is... A ladder, and then there should be the bubble. I think there's two actually. I don't. No. No, 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 no. I do need to open this. This was the room. Everyone knows this room. This was the scariest room in the entire entire dungeon. Scariest room in the entire dungeon. Everyone knows what this room is. Um, hilariously enough, though, uh, watch out for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the, the, the fact that they say that is, like, I got goosebumps again just thinking about it. Because you know what the problem was? When I first encountered this part, I was so terrified of it that, like, oh, shoot, what the f Oh, what? 
I, it chases after you like that? I didn't actually even know that. Doesn't I thought that the I thought that the thing comes from the ceiling when Oh true. There's a treasure chest there. So here's the thing, right? Because you go down that hallway, you either had to go really quickly in and out of this room to avoid dealing with it. Because like once you kill it, it won't come back. But when I came here, I didn't have a third key. So I was terrified to come back here. Um oh okay. I was terrified to come back here. Coming here was a nightmare. Yep. Um, okay. This is, this is gonna be rough. Cause I, I, I definitely don't wanna fall through the middle. I actually learned that you can fall through the middle, but I thought it was insane that they could not fall through the middle. Ooh, good catch. And also, his body doesn't dissipate. Or his does, but the other ones that appear here don't do that. Oh, shit. So you have to kill both of them without it, you know, doing its thing. Oh, shoot, that lag was crazy. Actually. See, like, this one's the body doesn't actually go away. So I have to be quick to kill this one. I did not realize that was the case scenario as a kid. Oh, shoot. Very close, actually. Very close. He was, like, on the verge of making that comeback. So, you know what the other hilarious thing is, too? I also didn't really find it useful to ever run around with potions and all that kind of stuff. So, like, there were days where I would suffer in this dungeon also just because of the simple fact that I did not run around or carry potions on me. I just kind of just dealt with it, you know. I think there's a fairy here. No fairy? Oh, shoot. Okay. That's okay. I thought that a fairy would come out of one of those, uh, those pots, but that's okay. Okay. We have ourselves the best item in the game. Okay. Take it out. Hold it. Let's see the ink. Then. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you. We're gaming now. Okay. Um, I actually don't remember which one it was. It might be this one. This also was quite the challenging puzzle. Because if you're too slow in hitting the portraits, then uh, the pose move. Didn't like that. Okay. I actually don't think I can fight you still with my... Yeah, I don't think I can actually... Uh -oh. I don't think I can actually hit you with my sword. Because they're like pose, right? Like if you get too close, then they eventually like do the thing that they do. So Oh shoot, you're still Does the hookshot work? I'm actually curious. I don't think it does though. Oh it does. Oh, but it does that. And that was always the issue. Okay. Didn't actually know that. Because the hookshot does not work in terms of the um Wow, you really just like arrows, man. Joel, wake up. There you go. I think you give me the compass. Or is it just a key? Oh, it's a key. The blue one gives me the compass. Okay. Okay. This torch is lit. That means does mean it means what we think okay now we go through here oh wait i have a dumb question is it red it is red okay didn't know that until just now i'm not gonna lie to you the blue carpet means it's blue ghost literally did not know that until just now so that's a chalk one up for the session embarrassment <laughs> no it's okay 
son of a... There we go. Oh, I missed. Kind of awkward, actually. Yeah, I kind of figured that she would have done that. Okay. Beth, come on. Time, time will eventually give me what I want, you know? You can, I don't think you can shoot two hours at once or whatever, at all. so... So here's the thing, like, while we sit here and kind of deal with Best Souls and Shirley, right? One of the biggest issues that I had uh, with this temple was the fact that there were ghosts. Like, I wasn't afraid of ghosts as a kid, but it was just the, the eeriness of the dungeon scared me to the point that, like, here's what I ended up doing. I ended up defeating the red and the blue ghost, but then I got lost and I could not find the green ghost. Um, but I had the bow, so what I literally ended up doing was I didn't even do this dungeon. Uh, I didn't finish this dungeon first. Most of the time, when I played this as a kid, I, like, I would replay the game, but I did, I literally kid you not, I did not finish this dungeon first out of the three that you can do. Because if you get the bow, you can go do water and fire temple. Like, you just can. So, when I got the bow, I was like, I'm not coming back to this place. So, I just, like, didn't. Uh, and then I ended up doing... I cleared the fire temple first, then the water temple, then came back and did forest. Because I couldn't do shadow, because I needed to be a kid. Didn't know that. Uh, also, because I was missing the key at the entrance at the very beginning, I could not open this door. Couldn't find the key. Took me forever to figure it out. Um, oh, crap. Not again with them. Okay. Um... Um, so yeah, I gotta keep on moving, I think. Yeah, Wallmasters stink. Also, the thing I hate about these things, too, is that they also would just, like, disappear because they felt like a kind of ordeal. Hated that. Um, there's no, there isn't one. Though That's what it is. Okay, I think that's what it is. Also, I think I can just kill the bubbles, like, easily. Yes. Awesome. Not these, though. Oh, I don't have a key for this place. Uh... Hmm. I need a key, actually. Can I make it? W. This is the other issue. Because I didn't have that key... I, I could not understand or figure out at all where to get the next key. And that was my struggle point where I said, hey, nope, I turned the game off and just never again. So now we actually got to backtrack and think with our brains. Um, Because I actually don't know where to go now. Actually, wait, mm, that's not true. Actually, I think I do know where to go next. There's two places I can think of where to go to. Um, let's find out. I think we're back over here at the, uh-huh. Oh, shoot. Crap. I gotta wait now. Because, um, I, I did learn this the, the freaking horrendous way. If you try to climb the ladder while the, the wall master's trying to, like, attack you sort of thing, it will snatch you off the ladder. I learned that the hard way. Was not happy about it. Really, really unhappy about it. Um... So there's like there's like a couple things we can do right now. I think that this will work. So uh, we'll see. Also, you'll see it again. We'll be seeing it again. So just watch. I learned this the hard way too. Bloom chill, bro. Uh, arrows? No arrows. Okay. I hated this part. This was the part that scarred me as a kid. Actually, no. I can go back and go do what I gotta do instead. I think it drops... I don't think it drops anything important, though. But we'll go do it regardless. Um... I just gotta remember where it is. Oh, it's right there. Can I, like, jump this? Oh, I'm a freaking genius. 
that was not intentional, but I'll take it. I think it's just a small uh, chest. I think it just gives me arrows. I don't think it gives me a key, though. Yeah. So this was what... Uh... Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Well, apparently not, though. But I figured that it would have given me... Um... Arrows, but... That's okay. Okay, so now... We did that. I need to go through the hallway after it's straightened, and I have to wait. I have to wait because last time I did this as a kid, I didn't wait, and it was the it was the thing that scarred me. It was horrendous. I hated it. It was so scary. Yep. Literally the scariest thing, man. When you, cause it's a trick. If you get the key, if you, cause the, cause once you start opening the animation for the key, the thing will start to do what it has to do, and you literally get the key, and then it takes you. I hated that as a kid, and I, I still hate it now. <laughs> I have goosebumps just cause of that moment. Okay, boss key acquired. Um, the problem though is that there's no way to actually um. Go back. So we had to go down. Oh. Okay. I literally hated. I hated that getting the boss key, and that was that's how, that's like probably the scariest moment of my entire Ocarina of Time like lifeline. You know. Listen, I ain't worried about you anymore, sir. Sit down. Okay. Um. I feel like there's something that's supposed to be there. I actually don't know. I know that this. I know what this is. Yeah, freaking floor master. Oh shoot. Alright. Do you require the I don't remember that being the case scenario? You gotta kill all three of them. If you don't, they all come back and it's it's so annoying. I don't remember that being the case scenario. I thought that you could actually fight that thing with the sword. Okay. I mean, hey, we're here. I could have swore that that was the case scenario. Okay, we have the key, and this is the key that I need in order to go back. I have to go all the way back to the other room with the untwisted hallway and do that whole thing. I do remember this now. I literally did not remember this when I was a kid. Oh, that was... That would have been so sick if I actually landed that shot, but... Okay. Wait, is that true? I think so. Um... Wait, I want to just go... I want to double check because I don't exactly remember. Because we'll see here that the... the, the yeah, the torches are not lit, which is perfect. Look, Link, a torch is lit. That's because you beat a ghost, isn't it? W. Okay, so we can't... That way doesn't matter. That way doesn't matter. Uh, I have the bow now, so we can do this one. But I don't remember what's here. Oh, it is what I thought. Okay, so no, I don't have any reason to be here, I don't think. That was close. No, no, no. So this is so this is what was what was confusing me as a kid when I was, uh, yeah, doing this dungeon is that I didn't know where to go because I got that key from the floor master and I could not understand how to get back to the green room. Uh, thankfully, however, this time I'm actually keeping track, so we're chilling. Oh wait, I want this action. W. I'm gonna try and preserve my arrows a little bit. Oh, son of a Okay. 
so we're gonna have to now so that that was the, always the confusing part because when i had the bow i just didn't understand like well there was two issues one i it took me a really long time to understand that i had to go through the hole um with after hitting the eye and then making the the hallway straight i did not realize that i had to re retwist the hallway um because again i was i was i was still deathly terrified of the four masters because like as you'll see here the um the eye even if you leave the area the eye is actually still closed and i please i did not know that so that's why my that was my issue as a kid i didn't understand like wait if i have the the bow and i close the eye why can't i find this room again didn't realize that's actually reopen the eye that was like one of the weirdest puzzles for me as a kid to understand so like i struggle with it like really hardcore but we got the thing though so that's good but this time we just move and we just go boom then we go all the way back through and then we find that that one door that as a kid it took me forever to find i literally couldn't progress this area as a kid because of the simple fact that 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 singular hallway that singular hallway uh was the the end of me so it's kind of nice to comfortably go through this and be like a little bit less not a less not a little bit less afraid but i'm much less afraid of course but it's still it's still it's still like you know so yeah because now we can go through this uh and then And now this is the door that I couldn't find. Uh, what the f Oh, got it. Here's, I won't lie to you. If they put a freaking wall master in this, that would have been so mean. I'm so serious. They could have done that and it would have been such a mean thing for them to do. I think I got it. Nice. Yeah, because now it twists the other hallway, and I and I mind blowing, dude. I think I can just yes, I can. Cool. Is there's nothing in this? Okay, cool. I don't think so. Yeah, because now the hallway's twisted. Whoops. Okay. Um, pretty sure the wall master still appears. That was very close, actually. Dang, to be dropping like, was it, thirty-five rupees? Got a fire, actually. Oh right. What is a? Uh... I can get it. It's just weird. Um. Hmm. Okay. It's 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 not it's worth it, but it's not worth it. You know what I mean? We'll see. Um. I actually forgot about that. That was something that I did not realize. Watch out, the ceiling is falling down. Yeah, I did not understand that. I can't believe that they actually added some like... Oh, that's actually sick. I've never actually seen that before. I do like to take these out beforehand. It makes life so much easier. Wow, that was a good shot. Wow, great for freaking... I think, right, if I stand right here, I'm good? Okay, I want to get that other heart before it goes away. And then uh, I should be okay with getting this chest. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's scary times, man. Oh, it's more arrows. W. Okay. Where's that switch at? Is it timed? Oh, it's not timed. Fair enough. 
All right. So, weird situation that we're in. Didn't understand how that worked for like a minute. Because again, like that was the hardest. It's so, you know what's weird? Is that the, the, the falling ceiling wasn't scary, but the freaking hands and that uh, other room was, I don't, it was wild to me actually. Um, ooh, I actually don't. Oh, it's a fake, it's a fake block. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Am I not going to have enough time to do this? No, we should be okay. Imagine though. Okay. Amy, how's it going? Love the color. Oh, I didn't know that actually. I thought that the flame would make the arrow like a, not like an invincible thing, but you know. Yeah, the last one's Ruth, and I've always hated Ruth. Because she was she would be in my face doing stuff. With the spinning oh man. Completely unlocked with that one. I believe you also That's it. There's no there's no like key or anything like that. Okay. Um It's going to depend. I think this takes me back to the balcony. In the main room. It does actually. So here's the thing. I'm not gonna go this way. Because this would look I would I would like jump over and then you know up here. Because Beth is sitting right there. Um what I am going to go do is go get the bruh. Go get the Golden Skull Tolo that's in the other room. Because I should be able to go get that. As long as I don't, like, you know, get squished. I thought you can go over for some reason. I'm pretty shocked if I don't... Oh, that scared... Okay. I won't even lie to you. That scared me. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that actually scared me. I'm not going to lie to you. I got me twice. I'm sad. Oh my god. Oh, I got annihilated from that. That was so freaking scary. Oh my gosh, that scared me actually. I'm so sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey man, it's a it's a dangerous time we're living, you know? Okay. I gotta just like walk off. Okay. Oh, don't do this to me, man. I don't want him to shoot me, and then... That scared me. Oh my gosh, dude. I gotta go change my pants after that one. That was so scary. I forgot that they come back, dude. I really, I really, really did. Uh, okay. Hey, we're not gonna talk about it. N64 game, you know? Alright. Alright. I hated this one, dude. Because you have to do it in- you have to do it in first person. Or do you? Wow, that was lucky.
Oh, you don't. I thought. Okay, I felt like I did this in first person, and them spinning on me was like one of the scariest things, also. Oh, it's Meg. I said, what name was Ruth? I lied. I knew it was Meg. Freaking Meg. <laughs> I did that in first person. I didn't know that I could target them. Like, because, like, it was scary when they start spinning, and then when they start spinning, then they'll attack you. And the, and the, the, uh, the attack thing on me, like, man, it stressed me out. Okay. Um... I do remember how to do... Well, sort of. I kind of, sort of, remember how to do this. I just spin it until uh, I get all the possible things that I can get, actually. Okay, I was really scared that something was going to appear. I'm not going to lie to you. One of these has, like, a giant skull total in it. I know that much. Um... And one has a golden one. It's gonna. I'm telling you now, dude. It's going to scare me. I'm telling you now. I'm gonna. It's gonna scare me, and I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> I'm gonna get scared by it. I'm telling you now. Just be prepared. The Skulltola will somehow magically get me. There we Arrows. W. Uh, this, I think this is actually the last one. Right? I think that there's four in this dungeon. Uh, I'm missing one. Am I really? Oh. No, uh, I don't know. I guess I am. I thought that was... I thought there was only four in this temple. There's a fifth one? I was, like, scared. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh... I'm so mad that I got scared by the giant skull total. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay. Hmm. Uh oh. It was crazy when I got to this part. Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I have to wait until the... Uh-oh. Wow, he actually got me. Oh my gosh. I have to wait until the thing appears. It's one of these two. I can't believe that you literally, like... Oh, gosh. Hmm. 
man. Okay. That's so sick, dude. Man. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some sight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Dang. Dude. The scariest dungeon is completed. <laughs> Thank goodness, too, because of this heart container. My gosh. Was that nine? Nice. Okay. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as a forest sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. You know, I didn't know. I didn't realize that. She, I, I know that the Kokiri don't age. I used to think that she did age. Because uh, Rudo aged. I thought that she also did. But I was like, why, can't, why does she get older? But I'm looking at it now. She's actually still small. Did not really think about that. Like, to the T, you know? Anywho. We got the Forest Medallion. Sorry, awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Sorry, I will always be your friend. You know how adorable this is? Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke a curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Gokiri never grew up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. You know how long it took me to realize that it was the same person? Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and a her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny. 
whose fate would affect the entire world. So he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Hi there. <laughs> yes. It, it took me a minute. Okay. It took me a minute to realize that the tree and the sprout were the same person, which I thought was really cool. He, he goes from like being like an older man to being like a young kid again, kind of video, which is really cool. Uh, also... I never had the shower thought until today, where it was like, if they're always kids and then eventually become, or you know, when they're born, like they're born into the forest, right? But they also must be babies and then get grown up as, but then they say kids, you know? But I actually don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't want to think about it though, but I just, I'm very curious. So, like the question does become, right? like. Do they start off as babies and then become kids and then stay as kids? Or, like, do they... Like, where do they come from? I don't know if there's ever like, been, like, an explanation for that, but, like, I'm kind of curious. Anyways. Apana! What's up, boo? Lovely to see you. Okay. Um... Actually, I don't know what Navi would tell me at this point. Wait one second. Please hold while I, uh... Oh, wait. Eh, that's fine. I'm gonna basically go back to the, um... We're gonna go back to Temple of Time. Because... I think what I might end up doing is going back and... Out of curiosity, how many pieces of heart do I have? I'm missing one for another container. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Um, because I think what I'll probably end up doing is like, I'd like to effectively just do a couple of things for, you know, just for the sake of like acquiring like more pieces of heart and that sort of thing. Because I do believe that I could try and actually get like, another container. I can, I, I can probably get like two containers if I really try. So I might look into that actually. Ooh. This should technically work. I believe it. I think that this is the case scenario. Because now it's like, oh, now that we have the... Actually, hold on a second. What I usually do is... Like, obviously, I think it was like awaken all the sages, right? Um, what I do want to talk to is to Ravi, yeah. That cloud over Death Mountain, there's something strange about it. Yeah, that's how I figured. So I already knew that the next place I would go to is, in fact, um, the Death Mountain. However, I wanted to understand how it works, yep, with the scenario. He destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to your return, you to the temple time, the prelude of light. I love the song.
you have learned the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold the time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Now, here's the thing. Because I never cleared the Forest Temple, ow, because I never cleared the Forest Temple, I didn't realize that I could actually go back in time when I did this for the first time ever. So that's why, like, when I went through the Fire Temple and the Water Temple and cleared those temples, I did come back here and I never learned the Prelude of Light because you have to clear the Forest Temple. Had no idea. Then I figured out this case scenario, mind blown by it. So it was crazy, actually. But there is the Forest Temple. Like I said, next time we're going to probably go and, and kind of meander a little bit and have fun and go do some fun stuff. Um, because I would like to try and get more heart containers for my uh, myself. So we'll look into doing all that very, very soon. So definitely tune in to the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. And I'll see you next time.